welcome to Cutting Edge with ICU. My name is uh, Logic Gates. With me here is engineer Tutu. I will allow him to introduce himself. Please. Well, my name is uh, Tutu Zulu. I'm a student of uh, Information and Communications University. Very wonderful. Uh, you agree with me that uh, technology over the time has changed, has evolved. Uh, thus far, ICU has also taken a step in trying to implement what we are learning as uh, students at ICU. So from here, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to uh, show you the, what we call the Internet of Things. Internet of Things is a technology, ladies and gentlemen, where you use internet to make certain uh, devices to come into motion or to operate. I'll ask Mr. Tutu, uh, like engineer Tutu, to guide us through what is this all about? This is an Internet of uh, Things project mm -hmm. where you are using um, the internet. Internet based exactly. to drive applications, right? To control things from a distance. From a distance. Yeah, so it doesn't matter where you are mm -hmm. in the world, you mm -hmm. can be in a different continent, okay. provided uh, this gadget is connected to internet as well as your mobile phone is connected to internet. Okay. You should be able to uh, operate a to certain. To operate such an, uh, an, an appliance. Exactly. There's a Wi Fi module here. There's a Wi Fi module. Yes, which is talking to the Wi Fi here. Okay. Yeah, and also the phone, of course, it's also talking to the same Wi-Fi. But of, uh, you can uh, actually use uh, this independently. Like okay. you can use uh, uh, embedded Wi-Fi if you. I mean, embedded data if you want. Okay. Yeah, but in this case, uh, we have decided to uh, connect uh, both. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I don't have to be near here for me to operate these things. I can be anywhere. For instance, yeah. let's say if I want to turn on the bulb. Okay. You need to turn on the internet first, which you haven't, you didn't turn on yet. Okay. Okay, yeah, so if I want to turn on the bulb. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Is that not magic? Yeah, that's so if I want <laughs> that to. That certainly is magic. I want to turn on the pressing iron. iron. Let's see about it. Okay. Let's see about it. Let's see about it. Okay, so. Okay, there we are. On. Oh, okay. And maybe if you are yeah, still doubting, let mm -hmm. it speed a bit. It's a steam iron. Okay. Yeah, so let okay. it hit a bit. Okay. Yeah. So that uh, can so give us some steam. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Yes. This is really amazing. This is amazing. So this is amazing. Phone. So what is this? All right, see. so this is one of the gadgets. Did you make this? It looks like a computer <laughs> motherboard or something. No, no, uh, this one is actually a TV. It's a 55-inch oh, okay. uh, okay. Hisense TV. Oh, okay. So what usually so happens is, uh, that's what even made me to develop uh, this, uh, this gadget. This concept? Okay. Yeah, because uh, you notice that many other times when a technician mm -hmm. would uh, fix a gadget like this one, yes. when testing, you can get permanent injuries. Okay. Yeah, so with such a gadget, yes. you're able to test at a distance thereby not injuring yourself. Okay. So especially when you're working on the power supply here, when it comes to testing, it's able to create like permanent injuries. Okay, yeah, electric, but, uh, electric shock? Exactly, electric okay. shock. Even things exploding, they can explode, explode in your into your eyes. Exactly. Oh, okay. And uh, that's what maybe to come up with this, oh. whereby at least when you are testing, you can put everything maybe safely like that, then you connect and then you go at a distance, and then you should be able to turn on. If it works, you come near and do- Then you uh, do your do final right. touches. Exactly. Okay, all right. So, do you want to, uh, what, do you, what else do you want to, do you have to tell us? When you are choosing a career, yes. course, it's also important to like choose the right university which okay. can uh, drive like what you are doing. Trying to uh, achieve. Prior to coming to Information and Communications University, yes. of course I've tried other universities. Okay. Now they are still following the colonial syllabus. The colonial syllabus. Yes, where you have to go like to be full time. You have for to, you be to be full time. Student. To be st How are exactly. you gonna, when are you going to get your, your, your other preferences? Oh, 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 okay. Like, exactly. okay, okay. Yes, that's, what, uh, that's why I considered ICU because they had uh, flexible ways of learning. Okay. And uh, here are the results. Okay. Exactly. So ladies and gentlemen, viewers, at ICU we have both distance and uh, full-time students. So you can en enroll in any school of your choice and uh, after you enroll, uh, you have all this fun. You're gonna have all this fun. You know, it's fun to know something. It's fun to get to make an application that works and people, you solve problems, all right? So it's really fun and it's interesting. Do you want to drive us into the secretary of this? Yeah, sure. I can, please, uh, take please. you through. Yes. Yeah. So what it is is we open from here. Mm -hmm. We want to see what is uh, actually inside. Yes. First things first. Did you make this? Uh, 
Uh, everything here, did you make everything? I no, mean no. the component inside. Uh, no, no, no. Like, I, 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 not really making, but uh, did you put them together yourself? Yes, yes. I know yes. most of these devices, these are... They were put by machine, but yes. uh, what is here was assembled by hands. Hands. So nothing was done with the machine. That's correct. Uh, sure. We just don't talk. We are engineers, and I'm proud to be one. I am proud to be an engineer. Okay. I am so proud of an engineer. Inside here. Okay, small yeah. as it looks. Yes, small as it looks, but very compact, of course. Mm. So there is this one, the step down transformer. Because mm -hmm. for the microcontroller to work, okay. it needs to be powered, it needs to be biased. Okay. So it's using some 12 volts, which mm. we are um, stepping down from okay. the input here. Yes. We step down to 12 volts and feed into the microcontroller. Okay. Then Control. the microcontroller is producing two voltages. There is some three. 0.3 volts, which is being fed to the Wi-Fi module, okay. as well as some 5 volts, which is being fed to the relays. The relays. So these relays are the okay. ones now which are feeding, there are two here, so meaning one is feeding into this plug here, mm -hmm. then the other one is feeding direct here. Yes. I'm Nifty Banda. Okay. I'm uh, doing Bachelor of uh, Design and Technology. Design and Technology? Yes. Okay. Perhaps this is an uh, amazing project. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask, uh, so is it possible you can connect if it's a grinder or a welding machine? Uh, yes, so those fall in between uh, the amperage for that device is very short. It falls between the bulb and the pressing iron. So anything in between, if this is handled by this. Carry, yes. But of course, if you have got uh, higher range high. devices, yes. that's where we have to change in some the components, as the well, especially the, the, the relays, the relays uh -huh. and the cables as well, ah. because these smaller ones can eat up and bend. That's the thing. Exactly. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my name is um, Bamwabi Mwale, and um, I'm doing uh, information security and computer forensics. Yes. Um, I've seen uh, this project that he has, and. Uh, in relation to the program that I'm doing, I can see that um, the project uh, requires some wireless communication for you to access it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, in the digital world and in the cyber world, we've got uh, different uh, kinds of hackers. My question is, um, what measures have been put to uh, ensure that uh, the security of this device is, um, is strong enough for hackers and other people to not be able to tap into the system. So what it is, is uh, uh, this uh, project runs with a code. So there's a code which has been embedded inside the microcontroller there. And uh, that's one, of course, uh, which protects uh, one user from the other user. Because it can be using uh, this, the, the same uh, project, but of course uh, with uh, different functions. So that is uh, being coded. And of course, I have to mention that uh, from this circuit, we're just playing with one cable, which is the lion. And of course, if someone wanted to maybe to bend down your house uh, because of uh, maybe a problem with them, like in an ordinary like home or office, they're able to do that. Yeah, so maybe uh, that cannot be prevented. But uh, what I wanted to assure you is that uh, from the operation, operational standpoint, everything is uh, protected using that code, which is different from the other user. That's interesting. And uh, like I said, I'm uh, actually I'm actually a forensic specialist myself. Well, your question is very, very interesting. It makes me and uh, us here realize that actually, as a student, you are really putting in your best. You are, the school is gi giving you sufficient knowledge. So, um, could you demonstrate to us that, yes. that indeed this actually operates? We just want to demonstrate a short distance. Okay, so we are going to try us. about we're 10 us. meters. Okay, let's try from here. Let's try from here. Okay, so we start from here, which yes. is about let's see. Uh, 5 meters. Camera, the lights are there. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. there we are. And this is a success. Oh. What? This is a gentleman. I'm excited, so excited to be part of this program. We have seen that we could power on these devices so much. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been Logic Gates coming live from ICU on ZNBC. Till we meet next time. Thank you.